that didn't work out. All right, guys, this is Matt Hall from SimpleCopter.com. We've uh, got a new bird today. It's called the Simple Copter Tilt. It's a V-tail um, bird with a 30-degree angle on the rear booms, folding front arms. Um, we're going to run it on the Turnigy uh, 2826 motors uh, on a three-cell 2700 milliamp pack and uh, try to do a little flying for you. Now, the only problem with this thing is the, uh, the gear is a little bit short for the grass, so uh, we'll see what happens. We're coming to you from uh, North Carolina. The it's called Bear Paws, the place we got a house up here, and uh, a little tighter than I'm used to flying in the front yard. But that's okay. All right. Well, we got the uh, yaw problem taken care of. It yaws real nice now. It didn't. Uh, it didn't. Have, I had a little bit of problem with it with the uh, motors at a 45 degree angle, but it's definitely a lot better now. We have it at a 30 degree angle and uh, got plenty of power. Oh, that wasn't very pretty. And uh, it's of course designed for FPV with your front arms being able to uh, be out of the picture and we'll do a little bit, we'll put a camera on there in a little bit, but um, right now we're just kind of giving you an idea how it flies. It's, I don't hit the trees and stuff out here. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. That's all right. So uh, at Seth this year, I got to fly Hunter V-tail, which is a beautiful plane, uh, beautiful uh, V-tail, and uh, it was a bit heavy at the time. But the guy had a 4,000 milliamp four-cell pack on it, and uh, uh, but I just love the way it flew. It was just a a, a joy to fly a four-motored aircraft that actually, oh, sorry, I couldn't tell which way I was going. So I got to fly the Hunter V-tail, and it flew really nice. I mean, it did have that, that tail problem that, you know, where it won't, I'm sorry, it's hard to explain, but it kind of throws it off to the side when you, uh, when you kick the tail. Plus, it's a bit heavy, but besides that, it was a, it was a great flyer. And uh, real pretty plane too. I mean, it's just uh, just gorgeous to look at. And uh, you know, I mean, I don't like to fly over water here. So with the uh, 30 degree angle and the motors tilted in, it, it takes care of that yaw issue that we had, where uh, where it was kind of throwing the rear end out real far. It's kind of hard to explain without showing to you, but. But this one you can uh, can yaw it just fine without any problems with with that. So uh, you know, really like the way it flies. Um, as I say, it's my favorite four motor uh, helicopter I've ever flown. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it up to the road and uh, throw it around a little bit more up here. So the yaw authority is just, just wonderful in this thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, the one nice thing about this thing is it is very steady. Let me throw it on auto level, see how it works. But that's auto level. It's uh, it's quite a steady platform. It's a little bit more steady than the T-Copter, the Tricopter, but um, uh, you know, it's 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 just dead steady as far as you know doing spot landings and stuff like that. It's absolutely you know perfect on that stuff. I got a little out of bounds prop on this. I think I'm gonna turn the scale stick up a little bit and uh, see what kind of damage we can do to this thing. Problem is catching it, because the only way to really catch it is for the front. What a neat deal you got there. Well, thank you, sir. Is it hard to learn to operate it? Yeah, that's better. All right, we were talking about directional control. Uh, you can see which way it's headed when it's going at, at you, away from you. I mean, it's it's pretty apparent where the front and the back of this thing is, which is a nice improvement over uh, your average quadcopter. Um, so far, it hasn't fallen on the lake yet, which is always a nice thing. <laughs> I hate flying over water. A little more cautious here, guys. Sorry. Got to be gentle here. I don't feel like going getting wet. So she's aerobatic. And we're going to see how she does with the camera mounted on it. So uh, we'll go do something stupid with that.
In case uh, uh, you're curious, the arms do fold back. The uh, rear arms, if we take this screw off, these can fold in so you can kind of compact it up to a pretty small uh, little setup here. Um, the wingspan on uh, let's see, 19, about 24 inches from uh, prop to prop, and pretty much to the rear is the same way. Um, our little landing gear issue is uh, if you were to buy some uh, some 500 size gear, I think you'd be better off. But you get the idea how low the prop is to the ground. So if you land and and tilt back, it'll it'll strike. Um, we're working on some some plywood type design uh, that's going to raise it up a little bit higher. Again, the 500 size gear will raise it up to about here. And uh, I'm working on trying to find some of those too. So on this build, we used uh, the Turnigy 28, 26, 10, 1400 kV motors. The flashed ESCs uh, from the F38s from Hobby King, the KK2 board. I used this little um, $6 receiver on it. Um, and, you know, the, the speed controls, oh, sorry. Speed controls go inside right here, speed controls go in here. I uh, really need to extend these wires and run these speed controls a little bit farther inside of here. Uh, I, I was just, I was lazy. But um, again, we got the breakaway cable, so when the airplane hits loose, the motor pops loose and hopefully pops loose from here and doesn't destroy your, your motor wires. Uh, I, I really like this, this, this uh, V-tail a lot. Um, it is very similar to the T-copter, which is over here, except it's got four motors and you don't have to deal with the servo. Um, and that mechanism right there. So advantages on this, it's a little bit more stable and this one's a little bit more efficient so I can fly for another minute longer with this one. Uh, advantage over here is you have a little bit more lifting so we have four motors. Uh, advantage over here is uh, um, I don't know. I mean it's, it's, it's got a little bit better yaw, maybe 10% better yaw than this. So it's it's a trade out. If you, it, I don't know what to tell you, you know, I, if if I were to go fly FPV, I'd grab whichever one had props that weren't broken and go fly it. Um, but if you if you don't like to have the three motor setup, then you're good with the four motor setup. You're you're golden. Um, these are all zip tied on too. Uh, if I was going to say there was a weakness in this copter, it's going to probably be the rear arms on an impact such as this right here. I think it would. That's where we're going to break this arm right here. The front arms on an impact is going to, you know, they're going to 
pop in. They shouldn't be a problem. I mean, you could possibly come down and hit like this and break one of these arms, but it's 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 rare. So I haven't broke one of the rear arms yet, but I really haven't had any ugly, ugly wrecks with it yet. So um, if there's a weakness on it, you might want to think about getting some extra of these arms or you can make them yourself, cutting the 30 degree angle into the uh, half inch by half inch wood. Um, if you have that, if you have that ability to do that, it might be a, um, something to get a couple of extra ones and just copy the whole pattern if you don't want to buy them from me. And uh, I think that's about it. And I'm just giving you an idea. This is the Tricopter 2.0 T-Copter, and then the new Tilt is what we're going to call it, I think. Unless I come with a better name. And uh, sorry about the red prop. I kind of hit a tree and uh, was out of yellow prop, so had to put a red one on there. But flew FPV good, uh, real impressed with that, and real stable. So check it out, see if you guys like it. I think it's going to be a, a great copter. you got directional open area for FPV, you got directional, you know, you can tell which way it's going. A lot of those things you just don't have in a normal quadcopter. So, uh, and of course you have better yaw. Um, so those are the pluses, and um, let me know what you guys think. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye. That's everything she had right there. Simple, Simple copper, copper is cool! cool. <laughs>